All right, so last video we talked about the Pearson square. This video we're going to talk about simple algebra. And this is probably one of the most effective tools to balance a ration because as you'll see in upcoming videos and activities, we can build upon this concept and continue to add variables and those types of things. And so it is um, a useful tool to make sure we have in our toolbox and plus on bigger problems it'll help you get close to a starting point um, for example if you have a case you can do something simple like this and get to rough starting numbers and then build your um, solution from there and so when we are talking about balancing rations using algebra we're gonna have an example of where we're trying to build a complete ration that's a hundred percent usually dry matter, because we almost always balance on a dry matter basis. And we know that in that 100% dry matter, we're going to have two ingredients. We have feed A and feed B. And we know that we need some proportion of feed A and feed B to make sure we balance for a specific nutrient goal. And so what we can do is we designate the feed that is the highest in the nutrient of interest Oops. as X. Okay, and so then our second variable is quite simply 100% minus X, and that's what I call everything else. minus x because we'll see when we start using fixed ingredients that that value can change a little bit and so if we were to like take a look at problem one which is to balance for 60 percent TDN so that's our goal and we're using barley which if you look it up in the book the barley contains 86 percent TDN and cottonseed holes. Which contain, I think, 42%. So we're doing a measure of energy, and that's our goal. And so when looking at this, if we were applying these, we're going to be putting in barley as feed A and, and cottonseed holes as feed B, and some proportionate amount is going to dictate what um, what we're going to have in that ration. And so by using this rule of thumb right here, the nutrient that is the highest is going to be TDN, and that's, or the nutrient of interest is TDN. And it's clear that barley has the highest value of TDN. So it's going to be set to X, and then cottonseed holes is 100 minus X. So we now <clears throat> have a mathematical expression for the amount of feed of each ingredient that's going to go into the ration. So on previous activities we have always done the amount in some sort of a weight so this is going to be a weight basis times the nutrient concentration is going to give us the weight or the amount whoops, of nutrient. So what we're going to be looking at doing algebraically is to say, okay, I need to know how much TDN is coming from barley and how much TDN is coming from cottonseed holes, and I need to get the appropriate amounts to make that total equal 60. So we're going to set up a formula where 60 is our goal is on one side of the equation, and that's going to be equal to the amount, so in this case the amount of barley is X times the nutrient concentration on a decimal form. So we have X times 0.86. That's going to give us the amount of TDN coming from barley. And we're going to add that to the second feed which is going to be 100 minus X times the concentration of 0.42. So, um, theoretically, 
our goal is right here and it's going to be the amount of TDN from barley plus the amount of TDN from cottonseed holes are going to equal our goal. And that's all we're simply doing. So from here, we can now to solve this problem. So we are going to distribute x through the parentheses, or distribute the variables through the parentheses. So 0.86x plus 0.42 times 100 is 42 minus, because we have to make sure we pay attention to the negative sign, minus 0.42x. So the next step is to combine like terms. And so what I sometimes do to help me out in the beginning is I'll underline and double underline the like terms. So we're going to subtract 42 from both sides. And just to make sure I got it all right. Clear. 60 minus 42 is 18. And then we can combine these two terms, paying attention to that negative sign. So 0.86 minus 0.42 is going to give us 0.44x. Now all we need to do is isolate x. So we're going to divide both sides by 0.44, this side's going to cancel, and x is going to equal 18 divided by 0.44. So x equals 40.91% of, and x was the highest, so that's our bar, let me pull this to the side, and so x represented barley. 100 minus x equals 59.09 percent and that represented cottonseed holes and that is salt and so if you keep an amount these these tools that we've been using quite a bit um, that's how we do most of our math in this class whether it's through algebra or Pearson square, we're still getting an amount of a weight of a feed times a nutrient concentration to get to that nutrient and blend them together in an appropriate amount that's going to give us 60. So if you want to check it, you can simply by plugging these values back in. So if we were to take, let me scoot this up just a tip. 60 equals 0 0.86 times 40.91 plus 0.42 times 59.09, we should see, now I hope I did that because of course I didn't do that beforehand, so 0.86 times 40.91 gives us 35.18 plus 0.42 times 59.09 equals 24.82. So if we add 24.82 plus 35.18, that gives us 60. So it checks. And that's how we do simple algebra. And so you've got four more problems to work on, um, but I think you can knock those out fairly quickly. Just pay attention to what tables you need to get data from.